بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از عبد الرحمن کاہی اینڈ یو آر واچنگ اینیملس پروڈکشن پریکٹس ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک آن دی ہینڈلنگ اینڈ ریسٹریننگ ٹیکنیکس اینڈ دا انسٹرومنٹس یوز ٹو ریسٹرین اور ہینڈل دی اینیملس فار ڈفرینٹ پرپسز لائک دی میڈیکل پریکٹس اور دی ادر پرپز to restrain the or to protect the animal from the other predators or the anim, uh, humans from the animals the different type of uh, handling equipments and restraining gadgets are being used in the market or uh, you may say they can be used to restrain handling and restraining means to control the animal for various purposes a lot of purposes we restrain the animals for example for giving them medical treatment for medical practice and for surgical operations for surgical operations for medical practice for medical treatment for to cure the injuries for cure the joint breakage or the other type of uh, medical treatments given to the animal in that case the animal should be restrained and should be carefully handled and the most important practice which is being done in the case of horses that is showing the iron iron made gadget is applied at the sole of the horses to protect them from the hardness of the soil are being applied in the ho- uh, to the horses and during the practice of showing we must restrain the horses carefully and manage fully for examination of their buccal cavity for example their pregnancy testing or the eyes testing feet or any other part which are not otherwise clearly visible we must restrain the animal and then have a look at those on those equip uh, on those uh, body parts so that we may clearly see the body parts are the clearly have examine the condition of the wounds are the other injuries and then the ringing of the bulls the powerful bulls are uh, being applied uh, in the field as uh, rings in their nose <coughs> just to catch them or the restrain them and then the, to check them from biting other animals or the attendants and then the animals may not bite the other animals or uh, may not hit the other human beings or the other small animals weak animals we must we it's very common we hide uh, we tie them we twitch with the switches or the ties or the twitches yeah these twitches will also be discussed earlier uh, in the uh, later slides now the different equipments are uh, used to restrain or handle the animals first of all halters head collars twitches muzzles gags side lines hobbles these are all the instruments which are being used in the field to restrain the animals to handle the animals to keep the animals separate if we want to restrain the animal uh, to protect the animal uh, from moving if we want body less uh, uh, move less body of the animal we have to use these instruments to restrain them we will discuss one of one by one with their peaks and uh, their uses in different animals first one is halter it is very simple it is very simple to made you may say and very it is very common to use 
in use to control the animals like horses cattle and buffalo this is the simple diagram of the halter you can see its very strings are tied and very easy to made second one is head collar it is an effective device for controlling the animals it may be used in the horses however the other animals like the cattle and buffaloes may be restrained or handled by using head collars and head collar you can see the it is cover, uh, rolling over the nose to the other side the string and uh, this string is totally attached to the back or the neck string that is again rolled over the neck these both side strings are attached to each other now then uh, we may tie another string over here and uh, with the length of that string which is tied at the later stage to hold the animal next one is twitches this is a very sensitive instrument which should be used which is common to be used in the field but should be used very carefully it is generally used with animals when slight pain is to be inflicted when we have to punish the animal when we have to make the animal to do something we simply make some twitches to hit the animal but these must be applied very carefully repeated and continued use of twitch should be avoided because it may them difficult to handle about head similarly twitch should only be applied immediately before the necessary restrain is re required there are different types of switches such as stick loop and leg twitch you may now this look at this this is the twitch this is the hand but this is string this is the uh, twitch and this is the stick twitch and stick is applied over here gags gags are means for uh, keeping the jaws to open apart for the examination of the mouth teeth or for passing the probing in the horse cattle and buffaloes it is made of metal it is the instrument which may be used in case of uh, we have to provide spices like the jwain alsi or the these type of spices we have to apply directly into their mouth and the animal is not uh, ready to open the mouth we may open that mouth forcefully with the help of gags it is the instrument which keep the animal mouth opened until we want and uh, how to use this uh, gag instrument is uh, very clear in the later slide next slide the tongue must always be free tongue should be avoided or uh, carefully monitored so it may not hit the animal and the next one is bull ring bull rings are applied to the older bulls or the powerful bulls to restrain them it is <coughs> you can see the structure of those bulls and uh, the this instrument you get this instrument this is applied to make the hole in the nose strips the nose strip should be at the edge of the nose just 2 cm back into the nose okay and uh, being uh, during the uh, applying this instrument using this instrument be careful that the bone may not damage or break this bull ring is uh, applied into the horse uh, nose okay and then those that nose is applied with the string or the cord to handle the animal 
Next one is muscle. Three kind of muscles are applied are commonly used in the field. First one is leather. Next one is wire muscle and the next third one is last one string muscle. These are very common but uh, very pro uh, you may be very common to see these muscles in the field whenever the animal is uh, free from pasturation uh, after pasturation the muscles are applied to the young ones so they may not suck the animal <coughs> for of course in the during the early days it is not applied but later to have better production or the better milk production and to avoid the young animal young one may not seek all the milk all milk of the animal we apply this muscle to just for protection that and have greater production of the milk leather muscle it is better but an expensive muscle and next is wire muscle it is less comfortable but durable and cheap you in the ne uh, next slide you will see how the muscles look like string muscle it is very cheaper and very commonly applied very commonly used and very easy to made and can easily be made at home muscle are used to prevent animal from eating their bedding <coughs> to prevent them the animals biting for to other animal or the people and to prevent the mares from biting their young ones calves are muzzled to prevent them from suckling their mothers first one the dams why we applied uh, muzzle to the dam we may provide the muzzles to the dam to prevent them from biting to other animal or to prevent mares from biting their young ones but the calves are muzzled to prevent them from suckling their mothers or milk the muzzle should not be put on too tightly otherwise the animal resents its reapplication <coughs> once the animal get no get to know that uh, this instrument meant to say the muzzle is uh, very painful to me then the reapplication reapplying of that instrument that muscle will be restricted by the animal and the muscle will not be totally or uh, properly applied muscles are taken off at feeding time this is the structure of the muscle cradle 10 or 12 pieces of pieces of uh, wood are uh, attached or tied with the pieces of cord and put around the neck of the animal and tied along the crest it is helpful in preventing the animal from getting his head to a fore or hind limb in case of blistering or wounds whenever the animal is having the wound on the limb or uh, we are afraid that the animal may harm that wound by its uh, tongue or by its teeth or uh, simply by applying the muscles to on the at wound we restrain the animal by cradle in that case of applying cradle the animal is unable to move his head to the back okay it is also helpful in restraining the cow buffalo goat from suckling their own milk as while applying as uh, we have applied the cradle the animal is now unable to move his head and is unable to move his head uh, mouth to the back of its body so it cannot the animal cannot suck its milk so it allows very little vertical or later lateral flexion of body head if properly applied this is the structure of the cradle these are the two strings these the first one this is string 
second one is this and these are the wooden pieces which are applied and these are the wooden pieces which actually work and uh, the animal is unable to move his head back to the body okay uh, look at this cursor animal body is unable to back to it their body last one is crush crusher try travis is especially useful for controlling large animal for the purpose of treatment operations such as dehorning docking or showing <coughs> whenever we have to apply the dehorning or the dehorning process we have to made we must restrain the animal in the crush while docking or cutting off the tail the it is very painful and should be carefully and uh, properly done by the expert and uh, bleeding should be avoided and the last one showing that is the most common in the horses in these cases these operations we must restrain the animal in the crush this is the crush how it look like the animal is restrained in it we apply simply restrain the whole body of the animal by entering the animal from this side to the either this side, this one and the head of the animal over will be passing from here and the head will be properly congested over here so it may not move backward that's all about today lecture if we have you liked our lecture our our videos please like and share and subscribe my channel thank you very much